this is the only car I think we've ever driven down the road and somebody came up to us when we were parked at a traffic light and knocked on the door and asked us, do you know where to find parts for one of these cars? Yeah. The guy was, the guy was, <laughs> the, the, the guy was so excited about seeing it on the road. He like literally jumped out of his car at a light. He's knocking on our glass, scared the crap like, out of like, us. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to get carjacked in the world's most ugly car, you know? So... Welcome to the Fox Body Influencers Podcast. My name is Lance, your host with Fox Body FX, and today we've got a really cool episode. Uh, whether you're on YouTube or whether you're on Apple, Spotify, or listening just in your car, we have Moe's Speed Shop, Marty and Jeff. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Doing great. Awesome. Thanks for coming to visit us. Hey, I'm glad to be here. This was only about an hour drive from my house. I knew right where it was. I haven't been out here, and uh, I'm one of those guys that uh, I'm a car guy as well, and I wanted to come see the place. Oh, so for me, good. just coming and seeing all the candy, that's pretty much, you know, I, I'm, I'm set. You know, I'm ready. Well, we're happy to show it off to you as well and talk a bit about it. You know, this is our real passion for us, so we're glad to have you here. You know, I have a, an 11-year-old son. His name is Devin. And, uh, and, and I call him my little car guy, you know. And it's funny how, you know, we want to pass things down to, to kids, but we also like to be around other car guys. And you can kind of tell them, you know, and it, it just... They'll literally sit there and you think it's 30 minutes and it's been three and a half hours talking about who knows what and all kind of car stuff, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you know, I've, we, I've been here for a while and you guys seem like those kind of guys. Uh, yes. Yeah. We're happy to get the kids involved too. You know, we really do want to see the kids keep going. You know, we're afraid the car hobby will go away and, you know, who knows what's going to happen with the EV stuff. We don't want to see all of that, you know, all the gas cars lost and forgotten about. So we like to get the kids involved and, you know, kids come to the shop, you know, they get a hot wheel car and talking to about cars so it's always a good thing we like to see the next generation you know have an idea of what's going on anyway <laughs> dude that's cool like if i was a kid and i came to your shop and i got to see cool stuff and i got a hot wheel i think i'd like wait till the day i turned 16 to come work for you i mean <laughs> jeff, jeff doesn't get a paycheck i just pay him in a hot wheel each yeah, absolutely <laughs> absolutely that's how i get paid a hot wheel and a uh and a coyote swap to drive yeah, yeah. absolutely absolutely <laughs> disable a car and completely strip it you know you're in for a long ride and that's okay you know just be patient about it you know yeah. otherwise you'll you'll never get it done you'll always be frustrated and you'll never be happy and that just takes the fun out of the hobby it really does yeah it does absolutely you're right that's a great point if you guys are out there listening you need to take a, a little bit of advice here because that that can save you some headache it, it not only keeps you in the hobby it keeps you in the fox body hobby we, we work on, you know, Ford and Chevy GM products. We don't do a lot of Dodge stuff unless it's old school Dodge with a carburetor and um, quite, a, quite a bit of Fox body building. You know, we've, Jeff and I have been uh, hardcore Fox body guys for a long, long time, as you can tell from walking around here in my oh, yeah. home shop. So, Yeah, let's see, guys. We've got, uh, got the pace car, got the summer feature yellow. We've got the red vert over here. We've got the orange car outside. I mean, just right here. I mean, that's a nice little stable. We, we love the Fox Body <laughs> stuff. And, you know, they're, you know, it's probably one of the cars that we know the best. This is a cool little project here. I know it's not a Fox, but but yeah. what, what, kind of, what kind of Frankenstein you got going on well, here? Marty got this car. A buddy of ours found it. And rescued it from a junkyard. Rescued it from a junkyard. And, uh, you know, it's the, it's the ugliest Mustang of all time. So we're going to do something neat with it. We got a GT40 intake manifold and a little turbo kit we had laying around for about 15 years. We stuck that on there. And, Got uh, Joe Hines got us a uh, a Holly system for it, so we we did all that. Uh, just trying to make it, you know. They, you know, that was the Fair Fawcett car. We call this one Fair Flushing. <laughs> <laughs> the Fair Flushing. I love that. We, Man, um, tell me about this engine setup. What do you, you know, got going on here? You know, Frankenstein has gotten a lot of our leftover parts. We had a 302 that we pulled out of a 1986 Capri, which is actually out for paint now. And uh, so we took the 302, did a little freshening on it. Uh, we were able to get a decent score off of eBay for the GT40 intake. It's probably not the best car to put it on, but it'll be the uh, ugly duckling with a cool intake on it. So that's what we did. <laughs> yeah. We had. Uh, that's killer. We had the turbo kit. I had bought literally probably 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago. Yeah, 15 years ago, and it was always waiting for a home. So this is the home that it found. We just got our uh, spoilers for the uh, front and rear. The front's actually just clamped on there right now. That's these parts actually came from all of all places Canada, and we had them shipped down to us here. So we're still playing around with some of the exterior modifications and stuff like that. But it'll have 
Um, louvers on the side and rear windows. Front spoiler and a rear spoiler will go on it as well. And that'll help push air over the air-to-air -air intercooler in the front. It's got really, really crazy, good, are really crazy good, good condition interior. And, uh, so the interior, you guys are leaving it this nice, leave it that, that ugly, green. ugly, like seafoam green, right? It is awful. That's why we're leaving it there. It's I like it, Is diary a green a color on the color charts? It's I can't gotta remember. Be. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Rex calls it booger green. So... Uh, <laughs> It is a very, very the, cool. The, the real car. question is, do you paint it now or do you leave it? All right, guys, you guys heard it. Okay. Jeff and Marty have a question. Do they paint the Mustang II with the Frankenstein motor or do they leave it this, we're going to call, beautiful seafoam puke green? <laughs> what shall they do? The question was, what was in the sea before it foamed? That's right. <laughs> hit, hit the comments. Tell them what you want. You want to see it, and it's just raw green greenness, like the Hulk before it hulks out, or do you want to see him paint it? And if so, link a comment to what color you want it painted. Yeah, you guys are trying to make the ugliest Mustang cool, yeah. and I yeah, can't wait know, to see it done. We're going to make it neat. You know, that's that's one of the things we like to do with all of our stuff. It's just clean and neat. You don't clean and neat. Out. That's clean right. Neat. You don't want to look out of place. It'll there you our, go. It'll be our little ugly burnout machine. So. There you go, man. I bet it'll do some. That's always fun. There you so go. We've gotten, you know, I'd say, you know, a, a pretty good national recognition for the work that we do, which is, makes us proud. But, um, you know, the, the thing that's not lost on Jeff and I is that we're both car guys. You know, we both enjoy our cars and we yeah. want other people to enjoy their cars as well when you say Jeff? oh yeah, yeah absolutely you know you you know people do it for the wrong reasons i do it because i love doing it and i want to see the next generation do it too uh you know my dad got me into this and my uncle but they've always been car guys and you know uh i think once you're a car guy you're a car guy there's no yeah, you know when you no, like, when you I'm walk into the car guy anymore, and I'm gonna go do some sports. Absolutely, <laughs> you know we we don't even watch sports. sports no. what, what is sports, it? what's that? You know, it's, that's it's, the same. Is it a fusket ball? Like I don't yeah. know what that is. You know, Brad's uh, playing. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't whatever. Know that. <laughs> is drag racing on? If it's not on, I don't want to watch. It. Yeah. So uh, you know, but we we enjoy you know getting to drive our cars and and building the cars and getting to drive them and. And you know, do it for other people, and we do yeah. quite a few, you know, quite a few cars for other people too. Uh, a funny story going back when I met Marty, uh, you know, when he built, when he was building his car originally, we wasn't building it for like a race car. So we were, you know, he had put a lot of sound insulation in it and this stuff and everything else. And I said, you know what happens when I crash this thing at the quarter mile and making a nine second pass? They're not going to hear me scream because all the sound <laughs> you put in it. So. No one will hear me. Exactly. Five, five hours putting the sound deadening in and 15 hours pulling it back out. Yeah, we know. pull it all back I don't know if you've ever seen that stuff. Once it's in, it ain't coming yeah, out. It's easy. not coming not out. I put it in my coupe with my son and he liked it. And I was sitting here good thinking the same like, you never take it. It's never taking this out. <laughs> never take it It's out. not coming out without a fight. That was for sure. So If you have a Fox body, they're never done. You're yeah. never going to have a finished car. So yeah. don't ever think it's going to be finished. It's never going to be done. You'll always find something to play with and do it. And that's what, that's what the hobby's about, you know, keep your mind busy with it. So. Yeah. So tell me, you guys, so, so Marty, tell us first, what, how did you, how'd you first get into the Foxes? Did you have, do you remember like just a first Fox and you just it's, had it's that actually a, That's actually a really good question. Um, you know, the yellow feature car that's sitting behind me, um, when I was down here with the uh, Marauder one weekend, um, one of Jeff's friends had the yellow feature car mm -hmm. and you know it didn't look like it looks today you know not saying anything bad about the car but you know it was a driven car and yeah so you bought it from Robbie Watson yep that's yep. true very sure true I, I wasn't I wasn't gonna dis display it <laughs> it was so, a nice car then so it wasn't a bad you know car. it was it was a decent car we love you and, Robbie. Um, <laughs> yeah Robbie's good he's, he's, he's good people Robbie's good. <laughs> I talk to a lot of people that end up buying something that I think they don't really enjoy. Right. They buy or build or do the wrong thing and then it just sits and they don't drive it. And you just mentioned that. So I want to go back to that after Jeff talks about what, sure. was, what was your introduction to the Fox? You know, uh, a buddy of mine, Ken Carter, had a uh, 83 Capri. 
And uh, he's like, man, I like that toolbox you got over there. You trade me for that car? I was like, okay. <laughs> and, uh, so idea. me and my buddy Billy, you know, we take it down the road in it, and I cog second gear, and the first thing I do is tear the T5 out of it. So, and then from there on, you know, and we got you know got that car running good, put nitrous on it, and you know we had a lot of fun with it. Ended up running like. 660s back in the day so you know it's fast back then it's nothing yeah. now isn't but, that where the buy it break it build it yeah exactly <laughs> like three three or five times you know we uh you know we that car was you know it was, a, it was a workhorse it really was we i learned a lot from that car you know from ecam you know we had a cam in it stock heads and then we realized not to use rotators on the exhaust and you know the hard way uh you know just you know, and as you get, as you get older, you learn more and more things. And I miss that car. I'd love to have it back now, but you know, it's I'm sure it's long gone. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and you know, it got me into the the Mustang stuff. Well, guys, tell me about this beautiful cream puff this right is here. A, uh, 1993 summer edition car. I found it for sale last year. Um, got a really good deal on it, I think. And then you know, the white interior was the was the toughest part about it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, I was able to get a, um, a set of the white seat covers and the, the full interior from our good friends at LMR. And um, I don't know if you know George Healy, he, he, he hooked me up with the interior. We set the entire fresh interior into it. It's you know not much of a powerhouse, but it has uh, a good original 302 in it, an AOD. And um, it's really a fun part to drive around and just cruise around. Put a good sound system in it, some bump in the trunk. And um, this is a car for my wife, so that's why it's got her license plate on it. There you go. So, and you got to look, you went right by it. You know, why does it have a uh, trailer yeah. hitch on it? I was just about to and ask, what is this? Because it was there, and how many people have a trailer hitch on their Fox? <laughs> so, couldn't take it off. Couldn't mm, take it off. Nobody. Let's just say we got somebody out there listening or watching, well, and you know, they don't have a Fox. You know, now, the, the good news is now there's so much more available for the cars, yep. so they can be brought back from the dead, they can be put back together. You know, me, um, you know, I would say my least favorite part about getting a rough car is getting it painted and getting it done, because we've all heard about paint jail. Oh, and, you gosh, know, we've got We've got great painters on our crew, but... Um, you know they stay busy, and yeah. you know, the good the good guys always stay busy. And so, you know, it's it's hard to be a, a guy who likes to drive a fast car and be patient all rolled into one body. It ain't happening. It's not happening. You know, and no. it's 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 just real hard to to get that way. So, you know, I tell people to try to find the car that's got the best possible body and paint that they can get. That's you a know, good the, point. The the the, the um, Try to keep them out of paint jail. That, that's exactly. Yeah, that's that's exactly. It's right. one of those things I hadn't really thought about. That's actually really it's, good. It's very you know, easy. I talk about the building of the engine all the time. The, stuff, the, but. the, the pace car that's behind us, um, you know, that car was a good purchase because, you know, it needed mechanical love, but the paint was in decent shape. Our friend um, uh, Duggar, Jason Duggar. Oh, you know, I know Jason. He's yeah, a great guy. Jason he's, awesome he's a real, a real good guy a good and, car, very, and very talented, which is important. Yeah. You know, he doesn't just spray at it. But um, you know, he taught me something. The guy that painted my car didn't wasn't a Fox Body painter, very good painter. Mm -hmm. and it was next to a shop I had to done that, so it was easy to just roll it next door. Happy with the work, but the hood I had to have. I couldn't find a, a an OEM cowl, right. so I replaced my cowl because it was right. in bad shape. I put the new cowl on, mm -hmm. right? And I took it over to. We had a cruise come in, and Jason showed up, and and I said, Hey, Jason, I know you paint cars, and, and I showed him, man, this. Look at this. I opened the hood. It's already like I had the car a week. And, and the right, the passenger side had already touched that thing and scrubbed my paint. Oh, off. gosh. Yeah. That's painful. When you see that, that's oh, painful. Absolutely. And he goes, he goes, Lance, I, I, I honestly, like, I wish, you know, I wish, you know, we would have talked beforehand or something. It was, it was like I had met him just recently right. before that, you know, and I'd already, the, the car had been at this other place for a year, mm -hmm. you know, so it was too late to switch and take him or whatever. But he goes, yeah, these aftermarket ones, they're fine. But I always have to go back and file that inside edge down. And I'm like, yeah. so it doesn't grab the hood. Yeah, like, like that's the stuff that people like you got. Like if you don't know those things, Jason is Jason is a great guy. Yeah. He, he is, and he's very, very, very talented. He's got yeah. um, Randy Pethel. They his guy yeah. that works for him over there. It don't get any better than those guys. I mean, if you, if you know, if, well, going back to what you talk about, you know, what car to buy, buy as much car as you can possibly afford. 
it's going to save you money. In yeah. The end. No, I believe if it. you, you know, it, but it, in what place though? Like I like what Marty was saying about well, body paint. And like, paint. Make sure you get the man, best body and paint you can get. A lot of money there. We can know? all put interior in. You know, we can put carpet in. You know, so forget about that. Who cares? You know, and, you know, and, exactly. And, you can, and, you, and what's nice now is that you can generally get the parts. Although you know, lately everything has become yeah. rarer. I don't know whether that's the right word, but scarce is probably scarce. a better word. Backlog. And um, you know, when we got the the pace car, you know, the interior in it was. Yeah, rough, you know. So, as a matter yeah. of fact, when I said it, and I fell down in the seat like <laughs> yeah. this, so, it was awesome. Uh, you know, we had we had a bit of you know a bit of concern about getting the interior stuff, and we were trying to figure out what else to do. You know, do you use like a, a Chevy style? You know, um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, um, the, the houndstooth. Houndstooth. Yeah. And uh, you know, were we going to do that? Would that be sacrilege if we had to have custom seat covers made? And then I started shopping around, shopping around, shopping around, and I found two sets of the interior. The last two sets we could find. I bought, yeah. I mean, as far as I know, they, at that moment in time, I'm not saying that they haven't made them again since, but at that moment in time, there was two sets left. I bought them both. One set went to Duggar. One set went to Jason. I traded They're in his son's car right now. I, I, that I, car I, looks great. I, I, I yeah, traded yeah. him because I can, I, I can do some buying and trading, but yeah. I can't paint. No. So I traded them off to Duggar, and they're actually in his son's car, which is another beautiful pace car so that worked it out is. really well but you know try to find a car that's not eaten up by rot and of course. Uh, rust number and, one um, you know if you get one that's been painted and just need mechanical work you've hit a home run yeah you know, really because great point the, you know the mechanical work takes time and it takes time to do it right yeah but you know it's a lot easier to do mechanical work and there's more guys out there that can help you with the mechanical work then can paint. Paint. You know, get the paint. You yeah, cannot you, order. You cannot order the paint from a catalog. No. and you can That's go to three or four collision shops, and these days they don't want your business. No, they, well, you they, take them a classic car. They don't want anything to do. They with want to do the crash work. They, they don't want to have anything right. to do with paint the car all over yeah. insurance only. You know, they can make three thousand dollars in a couple I of days. Totally and let them roll. Yeah. They they make business. It's a good perspective. They, they make they make more money faster doing yes. collision work. It's hard to find somebody. They do not want to have anything to do with painting a classic car, especially full car. You know, oh, not you, just paint the hood or something. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah. talking about the whole car. It's, I hope I hope Duggar's listening at this point because he's got to get my 1986 Capri painted. <laughs> some hire soon, some more people. Sometime soon. You know? We're, we're going to take it to Foxtoberfest, so yeah. we got to get that thing done. Uh, <laughs> so what else? I mean, what else can we leave out when we're looking to buy a car? Maybe a project or a build that we're going to do. Mean, what else do we really not need to care about? I, I'd be happy to buy a roller if the okay. body was in good shape. Yeah. You know? And that, you know, the, the Pace car was not a roller, but, you know, we didn't need the motor that was. We, that we weren't car. looking for the motor transmission that was in that car, so we right. We, we you know we put a late model rolling motor in it in a, in a, in a Tremac and all that. So, uh, so Jeff, how many times do people come to your shop and and literally like they start going, hey, you know, let's just freshen up this motor, and then I want you to install these five, six, ten things, and then by the end of it, they're like. You know what? I keep looking at that stuff, and I came over to your shop too many times, and now I really want this. You mean like every Tuesday that's, through Saturday? That's every, that's, that's, <laughs> every, that's every day. Every day. You know, a car comes in for A, and by the time it leaves, it's you're on Z. So, uh, you know, it, it, every every car, you know, and you see something, and, and you you know, tell the customer, look, I don't want to, you know, I'm not picking on you, but this needs to be done. This is a safety issue. And you sure. know, nine times out of ten, they'll go ahead and do it. But, you know... Uh, you know, they, they do add to the list. You know, the list comes in for two things, and before it leaves, it's 10. So that's just... That's, what about sticking to a plan? I mean... You know, well, here, let me address that. Yeah, 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 go for it. The first thing I tell people is dump the Amazon mentality. You know, <laughs> Amazon doesn't build cars, and you ain't getting your car in 24 hours from Prime. Yeah. You know? yeah. Just, yeah. you know, dump the Amazon mentality. Look, I'm glad you said that. Setting the expectation for the customer is more important than probably everything else you do. Yeah. In if my you, opinion, because being on the customer side, if the expectation is met, it's like, well, it could take 18 months or something. If I knew it was yeah. going to take that, that's okay. You know, yeah, understood. Pe people don't want to wait to get their car done, and they don't want to wait while their car is being done. Yeah. But, you know, you, you can't hurry it. It can't. needs to be, you know, you need to have some patience. You know, when I first got into, or I guess re-entered the car world, you know, because everybody's a car guy in high school, and then I got out because life, you know, and, sure. and everything else. But then when I got back into it, patience was not my strong point. And, you know, I, I learned, you know, to have more patience and it pays off in the end. You know, you yeah. end up with really, really nice projects. And then, you know, we've gotten good at getting certain things done quickly. But certain things, you know, you're waiting for parts to come. 
you know, something else gets in the way or something else needs to be fixed. And so you got to double back and stuff like that. And it, it's hard from a, you know, from a customer standpoint, it's not easy to be patient. You know, and we get that because, you know, we live for our cars too, but it just takes time and you can't work on one car exclusively until the next car is ready on TV. It gets done in a day, right? <laughs> right. But that ain't reality. You know, it just, it's just not peas and butter, peas and butter. I told you that story with my dad. Oh, we're not recording, are we? Uh, we are. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. 